Praise be Jesus and Mary. In the first reading today from the Book of Wisdom, we hear that God hates nothing of, of what he's created. If he hated it, he wouldn't have made it in the first place. And we're told that uh, nothing can remain in existence unless it's God's will. You know, if God would stop thinking of us for one instant, we would poof out of existence. Um, you know, this teaches us something uh, very important about ourselves. Clearly, God doesn't hate us. In fact, later on in the reading, he's called the lover of souls. You know, what's important about this is that uh, most of us, you know, for some strange reason, don't really believe it. Um, in our heads, we know it's true. And, uh, of course, you know, we immediately object and, and say, uh, well, of course God loves me. But, um, you know, if we went down into the depths of our hearts and really uh, looked seriously at this point, uh, we'd have to ask ourselves, you know, do I really even think that I'm lovable? or worthwhile? Uh, do I think that uh, I'm any good at all? And most of us would tragically say no. Uh, what we have to do is realize that, uh, you know, we're not the greatest thing since sliced bread. The, uh, the world got along just fine without us before we showed up on the scene, and, and I'm sure it'll continue uh, once we're gone. But, well, you know, at the same time, we have to recognize our true dignity, that God has made us in his own image and likeness, um, and in Jesus he has elevated us to the dignity of his very dear children. And you know, all of this must begin with the acceptance of the truth. And the acceptance of the truth has to begin with the rejection of the lie. In the garden, uh, Satan walked in and he lied to our first parents. And they believed him. And Satan has been lying ever since. And uh, the great tragedy is that we've listened to him and we've believed him. You know, now's the time that uh, we stand up you know, and say, wait a minute. Our Lord tells us that his sheep know his voice. They listen to him and follow him. You know, isn't it interesting that, uh, you know, we have these two voices crying out in our hearts. Um, one says, you know, you're, not a piece of junk. Uh, you're good and I love you. For some reason, you know, we don't want to hear that. Um, the other voice says, you're worthless, no good, rotten piece of garbage. And, uh, you know, that's the voice we listen to and, and we willingly follow. You know, we give in to the lies of Satan. And it's true that uh, the humble person knows he is a vile sinner. But he's not garbage. You know, God doesn't make junk. Um, the people who believe the lie that uh, they're worthless, 
You know, they wallow in self-pity and they make uh, no progress in the spiritual life. You know, if we've rejected the voice of our shepherd, we've rejected the voice of the one who loves us, and we've chosen to listen to the voice of the one who hates us. Now we can rationalize and say, well, um, you know, why should God love me? You know, look at all of my sins. And in today's gospel, Jesus called Zacchaeus to himself. He went to stay at the house of a sinner. And when Zacchaeus realized uh, what happened, you know, he made a choice right there on the spot to change his life. He pledged to the Lord that anyone whom he had extorted, he would repay fourfold and that of all the wealth he had accumulated, he was going to give half to the poor. And our Lord said, today salvation has come to this house, for this man too is a child of Abraham. Well, we're more than a child of Abraham. We're members of Jesus Christ and salvation has come to our house. The question is, you know, do we want it? Well, keep in mind uh, today's first reading. God created us because he loved us. God is keeping us in existence because he loves us. We're here today, you know, because God loves us. He's chosen us by his own design. Look at all the billions of people in the world he could have chosen, and he didn't choose them. So many people have not, never heard of Jesus and don't have a personal relationship with their, their loving Father. He's chosen us by his own design and for his own reason. And he's called us to himself. He's made us members of his own son, and he's given us the dignity of Jesus Christ. He's raised us to a, a divine level, living a supernatural life, sharing in his own life. And he says to each one of us, I love you. And we need to quit rejecting his voice and accept this truth. Well, it's time we reject uh, the lies and, and realize who it is that's telling us all of these things that are not true. The father of lies, who is a murderer and a liar from the beginning. The one who wants us in hell with him for all eternity. Uh, Let's keep in mind, you know, that each one of us has made a vow, a vow that uh, we're going to reject Satan and all of his lies. If we've uh, done something that's not worthy of our call, if we've uh, lived a life that's not uh, in keeping with our dignity, then we need to get to confession. We need to trust in the mercy of God who loves us and will indeed forgive us. As we heard uh, toward the end of the first reading, you know, God will rebuke gently, little by little, those who go the wrong way because he wants to call them back. You know, he doesn't destroy us when we sin because he loves us and he wants us to return to him. Therefore, you know, we must reject uh, 
the one who tells us you can't be forgiven. Let us humble ourselves like Zacchaeus because there's another voice saying, hurry down because I wish to stay in your house this day. Thank you.